I swear to God, it's like one, it's like one shady looking vehicle after another that comes pulling in here. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Duff here. We are having the car drive us to my destination using supervised full self-driving once again. Yeah, we have a couple things to talk about. Full self-driving has continued to perform well, but um, the main topic of this uh, video is not gonna be about full self-driving. Navigating this, we're navigating this traffic circle that I do on the way to work. And we're gonna see if we can make this right turn out into uh, busy traffic, but less than uh, work busy traffic. Let's go, let's see, what are we doing here? All right, we are inching, inching, inching. Does it see this? There's someone on a bike coming. And it's gonna, all right, I'm gonna go. It was, it was, oh, okay. I just accelerated and let me accelerate. There was a guy uh, coming on the right on a bike. I think the car saw that. I gave it a little uh, love tap with the gas pedal and uh, we pulled out. All right, we are now going into the left lane and we're letting the car again do its thing. I will be adjusting to the uh, steering wheel as needed. Last night I just had, uh, I had a sushi for dinner, something that is not normal. Right over here on your right is a place called Sticks. That used to be a, a go-to favorite for me and my ex, and um, I haven't really gone there much since uh, I became single. I did take Dawn there when she was visiting, but uh, that was that was the only time until last night. It was good. Good. Had a fun time. Fun enough. Okay, here we are at the destination, uh, Sugden, Sugden uh, Park. Park I've ridden around before, park I've uh, run around before, all kinds of fun stuff. You have just been given an observational test to see how observant you are. And that will make sense in a few seconds. This park has a long standing reputation to have like some weird people hanging out here. Weird people doing weird things. You know, like right there, that car just like parked, stopped for no reason. And we have this car here that's just coming and doing a loop for no reason. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to go into some of the weird things that uh, I reportedly have heard have gone on here, but uh, yeah, there have been some weird things. So you may say, Duff, why did you why did you have to drive anywhere to do this? Um, it's, the reason is my next door neighbors are having uh, some AC work done, and there's like AC contractors there, so I didn't really want to do my uh, uh, weird neighbor show in front of them. So that's why uh, I came here, so I can fit in with all the other weird people. So yeah, like I said, there's a reason I was coming here to, to talk about this and it wasn't full self-driving. It was um, that. Does that look different to you? It should, because it is. I swear to God, it's like one, it's like one shady looking vehicle after another that comes pulling in here, man. It's like a shady parade. All right, guys, here it is. Ta-da. Yes, I have another Tesla. Uh, for those of you keeping score at home, this is my fourth Tesla. Yes, four. Uh, as you can tell, I have not gotten the, the uh, front windows tinted yet. That is on my to-do list. But this is a Tesla Model Y Performance. Wow. Um, those of you that are familiar with the different Tesla models, the Model Y Performance has a number of upgrades. It has 21-inch uh, wheels. I think they're called like ultra turbine wheels. It has the up, upgraded brakes with a uh, painted red calipers, has a slightly lower suspension, and it has a carbon fiber spoiler on the back. Which looks, uh, looks great, right? Oh, and the, the badging, the dual motor badging has a little red line underneath it, which is um, the only indicator that this is a performance model. Looks sweet though, right? I went with the blue this time. My last two Teslas have been white. Uh, and this one, I went with the blue. Let's, uh, let's talk about the background of why this happened. On the on the inside, things are very similar. Uh, the only difference is you have a uh, metal pedals, which I guess are supposed to be more sporty. I once again went with the white interior, white interior, and I'm trying to think anything else inside that is different. Uh, no, not that I've really noticed. Very similar to my 2021, same console setup. Uh, I've moved all my lace fit. Uh, mats and, and rubber protecting panels, uh, both the sidekick panels, the back of the rear seat panels. 
I moved all that across as well. You'll notice up here I have my conventional garage door opener. I do not have the integrated garage door opener in this car. I've had it in all my other Teslas. I paid the three to four hundred dollars uh, for that add-on feature. To be quite honest, I don't know that I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to rely on my my old-fashioned remote. It's not. It's it's it doesn't it doesn't really do me much good with the way that I use the built-in remote in the car. I don't really need it. I already have remote access to my garage door through my queue, so eh, I think I'll just save the 300 bucks and put that towards my window tinting instead. All right, so how did this come to be? Um, I did make a comment in a one of the full self-driving videos that I did recently, how I was looking at Model uh, S's just for the hell of it, looking at the idea of going to a Model S from my existing Model Y. My white Model Y had almost 39,000 miles on it, I actually bought that the week, I picked it up the week after Cindy moved out of my house. So some people are surprised, they're like, oh Duff, it seems like you just had that thing. No, no, I've had it for two and a half years, I guess. Yeah, let's see, 2021, nah, well, a little bit more than that. Between two and a half and three years. But like I said, I almost have 39,000 miles on it because of, for two of those years, I was still doing the commute from out in the estate. So I had a decent amount of miles on it. Uh, the tires are getting to the point where I was gonna probably have to replace them within a year. Uh, the warranty would be expiring within a year as well. So that's one of the reasons I was thinking about it. And I was looking at, at a Model S, I ran the numbers uh, multiple ways and it just, it didn't make sense. You know, even a used Model S, it just, it didn't make sense financially, you know, cause there was nothing significantly wrong with my car. So it didn't make sense. However, Tesla did announce that they are doing uh, special financing on their Model Ys, really special financing. So what Tesla is doing is 0.99% financing, which is unheard of in the current interest rate uh, environment. If you get a conventional auto loan, I mean, a good auto loan rate is like 7%, seven and a quarter, seven and a half. That's a good rate. Um, so 0.99% is a fantastic rate, fantastic. In addition to that, you also can qualify for the $7,500 tax credit. I didn't, I can't qualify for some reasons, but most people will be able to qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit. That's a, that comes off the top of your federal income tax. So that's a nice uh, bonus as well. So basically what, what I discovered is running the numbers on this uh, performance model Y is that I could slide into this car without um, changing my monthly payment that I was already paying. Uh, so that's, that was, that was, um, that was very appealing to me. Uh, I traded my Model Y. I didn't get a, a number that blew my socks off. It was it was within a few hundred dollars of, of what Carvana, yeah, Carvana estimated for my Model Y, which was right around 27K. So it wasn't a great number, but again, I could I could make it work with those numbers, and uh, that's what I did. I am now sitting in a performance Model Y, and we have more more creepy people showing up here. I'm not sure what they're doing back here. I'm sure it's fine. So anyways, yeah, uh, with the Model Y Performance addition to those, those visual things I showed you, it's uh, faster, to put it mildly. The top speed on this vehicle is about 155 miles an hour. Wow. And the zero to 60 time is 3.5 seconds. Uh, for comparison, my Model Y dual motor, the zero to 60 was 4.8 seconds. I have yet done a full pedal acceleration on this car. I've, I've hit it maybe half pedal. And it's, it's borderline terrifying. It pulls so hard, but that's awesome, right? That's awesome. But it's really fast. Uh, one of the negatives of a performance model is you actually get less range than a long range model. This is rated for right around 280 miles of range. My Model Y long range was rated for two, uh, 320 or 325 models of, or miles of range. So this gets less range, but again, with, in my use case, uh, I typically am gonna be driving very, very little. In my use case, it's not a big deal. It's, it's more than enough range for me. I charge at home, not a problem. With a performance model, you get um, track mode. Track mode, like if you wanna take it to a drag strip, if you wanna take it on a race course, you can uh, set those settings in a performance model Tesla. You can also do sport steering mode, which I do not have turned on. Yeah, first first Tesla I've ever owned that has track mode. 
All right, guys, so that's, that's really it. I just wanted to let everyone know that I just upgraded my Tesla for the fourth time. Like I said, my fourth Tesla. My first Tesla was a Model 3. Model 3, uh, a 2019 Model 3. And then I went from there to the Model Y standard range, which is a rear, rear wheel drive only uh, Model Y that at the point, or at that time, they only had made a few of them. So many weird things here. Uh, and then that Model Y was during the used car insanity where used car prices were crazy. And I was able to actually sell that Model Y for $10,000 more than what I paid for it, more or less, to a Vroom. There's videos on my channel if you wanna see that story because that's kind of insane. So I sold that one and then I bought the long range Model Y back in 2021. And now I have now graduated to the Model Y performance. Navigate to Dunkin' Donuts. It's gonna navigate and it's gonna drive me there. So as far as what I, what I wanna get done on this car, uh, not a whole lot. Uh, yesterday I put on the mud flaps. I had a spare set of mud flaps from LaceFit that I hadn't put on yet. I put them on because it does not come with mud flaps. This actually came with floor mats. Uh, I think it's my first Tesla that I ever did, but like I said, I have the LaceFit floor mats in here. I'm going to get the two uh, front windows tinted to match the back. And also I will get tint on the windshield. They put a special like uh, ceramic UV film on the windshield. It's not that dark, but it just, it blocks a lot of UV, blocks a lot of heat coming into the vehicle. And uh, I'm trying to think what else am I gonna be getting? I think the only other thing I'm really gonna need is I'll get the screen protector. This is, I have the, the shitty uh, plastic coating on here that, they, that it comes with, but I'm gonna be getting a real screen protector for the screen. And to be quite honest, I think that's all I really need. Rolling into Dunkin' Donuts for some afternoon coffee. I played uh, pickleball for like four hours this morning, so I can use a little bit of a uh, pick-me-up. A little bit. Welcome to Dunkin'. Are you using your today? No. Hi, can I get a medium hot coffee with cream and sugar? Thanks. I forgot to mention one other thing that's different about this car, the 2024. My 2021 still had the, I don't know, are they ultra, what kind of sensors are they? The, 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 the proximity sensors. You know, the, it, my car still had the sensors in the bumper so that help you estimate distance from objects. The new Teslas are vision only, meaning they only rely on cameras. So like, whereas this view here on my other car, it would give you like an a idea in inches of how far you are away. This one, it just kind of gives you a visual with like a, a hot spot warning, letting you know that you're getting close to something. So I, I believe that's going to change, that they are going to make it, uh, the vision system be able to do things similar to when they had the proximity sensors. Uh, this also, with, with, this, with a vision only system, you cannot do summon. Uh, I'm trying to think what else you cannot do. I think basically summon is the only thing that does not work with the vision system. But again, that is supposed to be addressed in the future from what I recall. All right, guys, it's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you thought this video was interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If, if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. What do you think about my purchase? I mean, like I said, I think the 0.99% interest only runs at the end of the month. I tell you to use my Tesla referral code, but they turned off the Tesla referral codes at the end of April. They're not giving you referral points right now for some reason. Uh, so um, it won't do you any good. But if you want to get in on that deal, you still do have a week or two, week, 10 days to get in on that deal as well. It really is a good deal. This is an in-stock car, which again, uh, gave them more incentive to, um, to move it, you know, in stock. Um, big thanks to my channel members. My channel members are over there as well. I have 24 channel members. I need to update that graphic. I will do that right now, actually. Update that graphic to reflect all 24 channel members. Your support is much appreciated. Always appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I don't know if I said that before, but maybe I did. I do have a new wheel, a new electric unicycle coming tomorrow. I've, uh, I've had a question on my community section of my, of my, of my uh, YouTube channel for a while, having people take guesses on what wheel I'm getting next. I've gotten tons of guesses. I have gotten zero correct guesses. No one has guessed what wheel I am getting. Should be interesting. I'll probably do uh, I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow. 
if, if, uh, if everything goes as planned, I'll do a live stream tomorrow and we will reveal that wheel on the stream. So that's all I have for now. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Well, the weekend's almost over. Hope you had a great weekend. Until next time, Duckman out.